guys, welcome back to yet another video from boverspace.com. Hope you all are doing good and enjoying the summer vacations. Now while we are at it, I think it's time to organize some of those stubborn areas of your house which really refuse to stay organized. One such area that I would be discussing today is the laundry room, the washer dryer, the utility, whatever you may call it. Now friends, this area of the house being in the utmost corner, secluded and not seen by anybody, we really tend not to organize it or keep it, make it look beautiful. Now friends, I think our laundry is already one of the most boring activities for many of you all including me. So I think this part really needs some focus, some concentration in the way in which it stays organized. So friends, some of the ideas that I would be showing you today will really help to have a neat and tidy laundry area where everything that you need for a good utility space will be um, handy, sorted and always spick and span and tidy. Uh, I request you all to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. So without much delay, let's begin. For me, utility area is one where I could possibly keep all those things that I generally cannot keep anywhere else at home like the cleaning supplies, the laundry supplies, equipment like vacuum cleaner and sometimes even the paint cans. The utility area in my home is a part laundry area and a part of it is the open pantry. It's closely placed but is very convenient and well sorted. Let me share with you some ideas and tips from this space. If the wall behind your washer dryer is blank, you must fix simple but very sturdy shelves to hold all these necessary supplies like detergents, dishwash bars, etc. which are generally not so bulky but which are really very heavy. A good shelving system works best when you keep things handy. Let me take you through the things I like to keep at reach. This container has the washing pods. Recently, I replaced my dryer sheets with these wool dryer balls from a brand called Fabricure. Since dryer sheets contain a lot of harmful chemicals and artificial fragrances, I found them much safer for my skin rash problem and for my kids too since it is so much more natural. Once you transfer the wet clothes from the washer to the dryer, just toss in the dryer balls after spraying the fabric spray on the balls. The dryer balls will soften the clothes and save your drying time by leaving a fresh smell to the clothes. Uh, well, I bought it from Amazon and if you are somebody who is living in the US, I would suggest you buy it from there and uh, I have given the link to this in the description box below. Moving on, I keep the box of uh, dishwash pots and the fabric softeners handy in this shelf itself. So before I move on to the next step, I want to show you a picture from my previous utility area. The things look well sorted and organized but this wasn't the best arrangement. There are many reasons why I do not find it the most suitable. Firstly, it's not easy to do a stock check. Things that are above your reach are very difficult to pull out. More often than not, things might just fall off while removing. And not the least, it just does not look inspiring or pretty for a laundry hater like me. This time, I decided to contain individual sets of items and label them appropriately. Instead of having supplies left out loose and unattended, I sorted them in bins and neatly labeled them. Pulling them out is easy and gives me a better idea of how much of stock is remaining. Just to spruce up this area, I hung this little frame that has laundry label FAQs. Let me now move on from the storage ideas. Now, instead of leaving uh, them on the ground and possibly making them wet, organize mops and brooms with the help of hooks or organizers. They will look sorted and last longer. 
as you can see i have used the most common trick of using a ribbon to hang them easily from the hook for the reasons of convenience my sleek and efficient vacuum cleaner is also placed in this area and like me if you manage some space to keep the utensils basket you could place it like this on the wall if your utility has a sink to wash utensils which mine doesn't have to show you uh, you could use some of these dish drying aids to keep the area dry and clean So friends I hope you found this very simple and easy to apply steps useful please do share your utility area experiences in the comment and until the next time be organized be productive and be happy bye bye